Hi guys, good to see you in September. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with Vulnerability Commons. This episode is going to be my September market update for all Seattle neighborhoods and all the site locations, and we're going to cover only residential data in this episode. I'd like to start with reviewing mortgage interest rate. As of September 11, mortgage rate increased again and right now reaching 7.3%. Mortgage rates is very volatile. I will suggest for you guys to read good article from Mortgage News Daily from September 8 by Matthew Graham and he is talking about financial market and how financial market is tied to the mortgage interest rate and he's saying specifically it's impossible to predict what's going to be happen in the future in this episode we're not going to do any predictions we review what's happening last month based on stats and historical data available from Northwest MLS. And let's dive in to this market update. I will start with Seattle neighborhoods. And as you guys can see with me on the screen right now, in Seattle neighborhoods, we have 1.4 months of supply of inventory. And if you compare to same months last year, 2022 to 2023, we have same number of inventory comparable to last year. Medium close sale price in Seattle neighborhoods $899,000 and decrease for 3% year over year. In months of August, in Seattle neighborhoods, 34% homes sold above asking price and 19% homes sold at asking price and 22% homes sold below list price. Interesting data you guys can see on this slide, days on the market. People who list property and sold above asking price was only five days on the market. And generally this time it's taken for offer reviews. People list properties on Thursday to open houses Saturday and Sunday and review offers on Monday and Tuesday. And that's why those homes stays five days on the market. And people who sold below asking price sold within 22 days on the market. Pretty much every property in sale neighborhoods selling with less than 30 days on the market. The market moving fairly quickly. Interesting facts, people who paid over asking price pay approximately 5%. So that's approximately $50,000 above list price. And people who negotiate price pay 3% less for the property. That's approximately $30,000 was involved in negotiation to sell those homes. Now let's dive in to Seattle Eastside neighborhoods. Seattle Eastside neighborhoods consider areas east from Lake Washington. And why are we talking about Eastside? Because we combining together data from all different cities like Bellevue, Kirkland, Redmond, Woodenville, Sammamish, Mercer Island. All those cities have a little bit different data and different information, but it's very difficult to talk about each city separately. That's why I'm combining them together and reference to all Seattle's east side. It's east from Lake Washington neighborhoods. And let's dive into that data and let's see what's happened in Seattle's east side. In those locations, we have 1.4 months of supply of inventory and decrease comparable to year ago, 2022. Medium close sell price in sales east side, $1,453,000 and increase for 8% year over year. But if you compare to last month, what's happened in sales east side, prices decrease from $1.5 million decrease for 3% to $1,453,000. So we have very slight decrease comparable to last month because market is slowing down, moving forward to the fall. Let's look closer what's happening specifically in Bellevue, East Bellevue and West Bellevue. I'll put for you guys a slide on the screen what's happened in East Bellevue, east from 405 Highway and in East Bellevue have currently 0.9 month supply of inventory. It's very low inventory, less than one month. And medium close sell price is $1,425,000. And price is slightly increased comparable to last year for 2% in East Bellevue. And West Bellevue have very interesting data. With medium close sell price, $3,487,000 and 
price is increased 6% year over year. Even we have 3.7 months supply of inventory that's almost buyer's market but it's strong balance market in West Bellevue where we do have currently a lot of listings on the market. To me seems like every builder who's looking to build properties moving to build in West Bellevue because they're thinking it's very secure location and West Bellevue overbuilt with a lot of new construction homes and in all east side areas 35% homes sold above asking price 18% homes sold at asking price and 24% homes sold below asking price and I don't know why but very similar to Seattle neighborhoods in sales east side people who pay above asking price pay about 5% more above asking price and people who are able to negotiate and negotiate same as in Seattle 3% below list price if you are a buyer and looking to buy a property in today, very difficult market with high mortgage interest rate for a lot of buyers, you have to be very creative and you have to be very strong buyer in this market. On one hand, a lot of people thinking it's high mortgage interest rate and a lot of people on the fence and people not buying homes, which is not true. A lot of people buying homes right now. And if we look for data, what's happened in several areas and east side neighborhoods, I did combine together residential and condominium data. And just last month in several neighborhoods, we have recorded 7,930 sales together. And in sales east side was recorded over 700 sales combining residential and condominium data together a lot of people purchased property last month with very high mortgage interest rate but for you guys if you're on the fence i have very good advice and this advice may be not for everybody for specific people and specific situations but what you can do as a buyer you have a good job you saved up you have good credit history and you have 20% for down payment, but it's still a lot of money to pay every month and you're not willing to do that. What you can do, you can offset your loan amount with help from your family. So what you can do, you can reach out to your family, to your parents, to your grandparents, and if your family have funds available, can help you to buy property, you can reach out to them like you reach out to the bank. You can tell them, uh, let me borrow money from you. I need maybe 20 or 30 or 40 percent for down payment to buy a house for myself right now. You can be as a consigner on a loan. You can be on this property for a few years, maybe five years till mortgage rates dropped and then prices historically going to be increased and I'm going to refinance my property and when I'm refinanced, I will repay back loan for you with 5 percent interest rate for all those years and for some folks that's going to be a good deal because they can help for the kids to buy a house and also specifically if they keep money on a saving account just regular bank saving account when the banks pay a couple percent when they borrow money for you you can repay back to them and use this money for down payment. If you reduce your loan amount, you will be reducing your mortgage payment. And maybe in these situations, house will become more affordable and you can buy in today's market in this very high mortgage interest rate. I think it's a win-win situation for some folks, but again, this is not for everybody, for people who have family can help them and for strong buyers who saved up, who ready to buy right now and not on the fence and like to move forward. If you guys need help, reach out to me. I'd love to be your real estate resource and help to find your dream home in any market. And if you're a seller, and desire to sell property in today market for highest possible price, it's really important to prepare your house for sale. Your house is a very high asset. Make sure you have best possible condition of the property. 
make sure house painted, updated, have new kitchen, have staging, beautiful landscaping. And what I currently see right now, those property sell fastest and for top dollars on the market. If you are a seller and you feel like you don't have money to repair or you don't have money to fix, reach out to me because I can help you with that. We do have Windermere Ready program when we can borrow for home seller $50,000 or $100,000, depends what you need for your renovations. Windermere Ready program available for every seller in Washington state. And it's some condition to this and some fee for this program. But myself as a real estate broker, as your listing broker, I'm willing to cover those fees at closing. And this not gonna cost you anything. And I can help you to find contractors. Reach out to me. I love to help you. I think that this amazing tool we have available for sellers should jump to it, use it, and sell house on today's market. And if you guys need help, reach out to me. You see my number on the screen. I will be glad to help you to achieve your goals with selling real estate property in Washington State. With that, guys, have a fantastic week. Until next episode.